Hey y'all, this is Olive Destiny, and really quickly in this video, I'm going to show you all how I got this straight look on my hair without using direct heat. What? Direct meaning something hot that actually touches and flows along your strands. You want to see how I got this look without using heat, direct heat, because I did use a blow dryer or a bonnet hair dryer. Well, I'm going to just let you watch and see what I did. But yeah, this is what I'll be doing to my hair, and I actually like this much better than using a flat iron or any kind of curling iron. I feel like the roller set definitely makes it look a little bit thicker. What is that? Out of place, so out of place. I just click record for the intro like right after I finish combing my hair down. But yeah, this is how I got straight hair without using direct heat. And let me know what you all think about my haircut because I cut my hair a little bit as well. So in my last video, I updated you all on how I roller set my hair for 2017. I do have shoulder length relaxed hair and if you want a healthier way to achieve curls without heat, I'll leave that video in the information bar below. So my hair has been shampooed and conditioned prior to beginning to film this video. I did section my hair off the same way I do for any other roller set. These are the smaller rollers that I used last time for setting my hair, but for more of a straighter look, I want to use a larger roller. I'm not sure of the size of any of these rollers since I have had them for a very long time, but definitely choose whatever size roller you think will fit best for the length of your hair. Starting off by taking a section in the front portion of my head, just quickly showing you all my ends since I will be doing a trim soon, that way you all will have something to compare like a before and after. So, the key to getting your hair set on the rollers and positioned perfectly is you want to make sure that the section that you take is not larger than the roller. And also, I pull my hair forward and then I roll my hair back. That way, when I reach the end portion of my hair, the roller sits perfectly in place for the parted section that we've made. And I'm not showing too many of the rollers here because I've already updated you all on my roller, set, roller, roller setting technique. And the only difference here is that I'm using larger rollers this time and that all of the rollers are rolled down towards the floor instead of rolling some of them up towards the sky. And I will leave the products that I used prior to filming down in the description box below if you're interested on the ones that I did use. So I'm going to use my bunny hair dryer to pretty much sit under there for about an hour. Uh, the time that you'll sit on the dryer just depends on the products that you use and the length of your hair. So after the hour was completed, I go ahead and I remove all of the rollers. But first, I do allow my hair to cool. Like, I don't come straight from under the dryer and remove them. I feel like your curls set better when you really allow them to cool. Like, they're just set in place. By using larger rollers compared to my last roller set, you can see that the curls are looser. But if you would want to style them, you could definitely use a wide tooth comb to do so. But for this look, I want straight hair. So I'm going to proceed to brush out the curls. And we're going to wrap the hair just around in like a traditional wrap to go for more of a straight look and I definitely did use this technique like years ago like if you've been watching my videos since maybe like 2011 2012 then you know what I'm talking about I really didn't even flat iron my hair I would always just roller set it wrap it up and wear it straight that way I'll link one video below that way you all can see what I'm talking about but yeah I'm going to a lot of my old hair habits just from back in the day like I find myself lately watching a lot of my older videos and just taking notes again for myself so yeah back to <laughs> indirect heat hairstyles for just doing a lot of different things you know but yeah um getting sidetracked here after you wrap up your hair with the powder brush i'm just pretty much taking a bristle type brush and just smoothing my hair down even more like when you wrap it you don't want to just kind of loosely wrap your hair around you won't get it straight that way you want to make sure that you're going in with the brush and like getting it like straight so at this point i would either just tie my hair down and just you know go on about my night if i felt that my hair would just be sh as straight to my liking um but me knowing my hair i pretty much knew that it was going to still kind of be tight and so since i wanted to trim my hair after this i pretty much just wrap my hair up for a few hours or you can just go to sleep and then i pretty much comb my hair down again so that i could um proceed with my cut which i will do in a separate video for you all i didn't want to kind of cram everything together so i'll show you all that in my next video so just after a few hours i'm quickly combing my hair down like i said i did want to go ahead and cut my hair but i didn't want to just kind of comb the curls out and do that i wanted to get it as straight as possible since i wanted a like a blunt cut that way i make sure that i'm doing it correctly but before i do that i definitely want to show you all what my hair looks like before the cut and what the roller set looks like when you just like wrap it up for a few hours and take it down so you can see that the curls are still there if that's the look that you would desire and that's what my hair looks like before i even do the trim my hair sometimes looks shorter than it is because i keep it tucked under so tight because i don't really like 
You know how some people flat around their hair like bone straight and it looks good on them? It's not really my preference, so. Anyways, <laughs> I went ahead and cut my hair and then I wrapped it back up again, brushing it down super tight. And at this point, I'm going to put on my silk scarf. Normally, I would use saran wrap and I'll link another video showing you all that until I can do the updated one for you all. And yeah, that brings us up to this point. Um, I just stayed under that dryer for about 10 minutes. Same thing as the saran wrap, but I just used the silk scarf instead because I didn't have the saran wrap. If you have the saran wrap, you would just put that on your hair, kind of like you would do the hair scarf, and then you would immediately take it off after you come from under your dryer and you can leave your hair tied up or whatever you prefer. So, just quickly combing my hair down. Honestly, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I left my hair wrapped up from like, I think probably two days. Like, after I had finished this, I didn't even comb my hair down right away. I was like... I'm going to just finish the video whenever I decide to unwrap my hair. And that's what happened. I left it kind of wrapped up. And what the Zoran wrap does or what the silk scarf in, you know, my case since I didn't use it. What it does is it just pretty much kind of seals in the oil and the serum and everything into your hair. It's kind of like when you wrap up food, you know, that you unwrap it and it's just like spaghetti. It tastes better the next day. It's like you set in your hair. That was like a terrible example, Disney, but I bet they get what I mean. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much what my hair looks like. Just style it to your liking. Lay it, slay your edges because your hairstyle is not complete if your edges is not on fleek, okay? And yeah, that's how I got straight hair without using direct heat. If there are any other methods that you all would like to see me use, I want to do the you know how you go from wet to dry where you just wrap your hair wet and then you comb it down dry? Since my hair is short, I want to give that a try. I don't know. Let me know what you all think. And I hope you all enjoyed this one. So that's pretty much how I got straight hair without using direct heat. Questions and comments, be sure to leave all of that down below. Be sure to get connected with me on Instagram and Twitter for when I'm not here on YouTube. The way we can stay connected, girl. Connected. And yeah, I appreciate you all so much for watching this video and that is pretty much the finished look i'm about to go we got to go to evening service so i was just rushing to do this really quickly anything else that i might have forgot i'll leave it down in the information bar down below and along the screen make sure you check out the card for more information and relevant videos and i thank y'all so 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 much for watching this video bye i'm loving my hair like feeling it right now <laughs>